forget, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like, drop an elbow on that subscribe button, and crush that notification bell. Woo! We've got t-shirts, socks, cups, stickers, and all kinds of other epic merch over at MaySpaceTV.com. We've also got the link in the description below. Woo! What is going on, Monster Jam fans? In today's video, we're going to be having a Monster Jam challenge, and it is jam-packed with zombie challenges, our regular challenges, and we're going to be debuting an all-new zombie challenge that I think is one of my new favorites. At the end of the video, we're going to have a freestyle finale where we need you guys to be the judges. So at the end of the video, be sure to go to the community post and cast your vote. Let's sit back. Buckle up those seatbelts, here we go! Alright guys, we're going to get things kicked off with our all new transport truck zombie escape. Here's how it's going to work. We've got a transport truck that's trying to deliver a brand new Ford Raptor to the dealership. Well, the supersized zombie monster truck is going to try to crush it. It's going to be up to the competing monster trucks to try to stop that from happening. They've got to watch out though, there's going to be regular zombie monster trucks all over the place. They're going to have some help. There's going to be transport trucks with special power-ups on them. The monster trucks can crush them to receive those power-ups. Here we go! Now let's see who's going to be competing in this challenge. We've got Megalodon. And Scooby-Doo. Up first, we've got Megalodon, and he's off. The transport truck is on the move, and it can be anywhere on this huge map. So really, it's a race against time for Megalodon to get to the transport truck and protect it. And he has to decide if he wants to stop along the way to look for power-ups. Whoa, wait a minute. Just as I said that, look, we've got a power-up transport truck, and Megalodon's going for it. He's catching up to it. You can see the power up on the back of the truck. All he's got to do is crush the power up box. But he's got to be careful. He don't want to damage the monster truck. He's got a very nice approach. And he crushes the power up box. Whoa! He is stuck on the back of the transport truck. And he makes it off. I don't think he's got no damage. Let's check out what power up he got. Check it out. He got a mine. Now he's got to get back on the move. Whoa! What just happened? Megalodon is on fire and completely destroyed. It was a zombie fire monster truck. Whoa! Megalodon is eliminated. Wow! All right, guys. Now we're going to go to the zombie cam instant replay to see if we can break down what just happened. It looks like zombie fire may have been following Megalodon from the beginning. Whoa, what a crush. Here's another look at it. Wow. We just got word that the supersized zombie monster truck has located the transport truck with that brand new Ford Raptor. Whoa, and a big time smash. Wow. That Ford Raptor is definitely not going to make it to the dealership. Now let's go to our crush cam slow-mo replay. The supersized zombie monster truck is not messing around today. Up next, we've got Scooby-Doo, and he's off. Let's see if Scooby-Doo goes for a power-up first or goes looking for the transport truck. He's making a right. So far, I'm not seeing any zombie monster truck. Scooby-Doo through the mud. It looks like Scooby-Doo sees something. Way over there in the distance, that's either the Ford Raptor or a power-up truck. And it looks like a power-up truck. And it's very rare because it's got two power-ups on the back of the truck. Scooby-Doo with a nice approach. And a big time crush. Whoa, Scooby-Doo rolls over. Whoa, this could be bad. He's got to hurry up so he can power out. And he's back up. Now let's check out the power-ups. 
He got a spike strip. And the destruction dump truck. Scooby-Doo's on the move. Now we get to see how he uses his power up. He's checking the map for zombie monster trucks. It looks okay. Whoa, check it out. Scooby-Doo has just spotted the super-sized zombie monster truck. And he's going after him. It looks like he's going to try to get out in front of him and drop the spike strip. Let's see. That's definitely what he's going to do. Let's see when he drops it. He just dropped it. And the zombie monster truck hit it. He's got a flat. Now Scooby-Doo's using the destruction dump truck. Whoa! And a big time smash! Wow! And the super-sized zombie monster truck is eliminated. And that brand new Ford Raptor is going to make it to the dealership and Scooby-Doo has won this challenge. Alright guys, for our next challenge, there's four BKT tires hidden in Zombie Town. To get the win, the competing monster trucks have to find all four BKT tires and escape Zombie Town without being eliminated by the zombie monster trucks. Now let's see who's going to be competing in this challenge. We've got Grave Digger Legend. And the 30th anniversary Grave Digger. Alright guys, Grave Digger Legend's up first. He's entering Zombie Town. He's keeping his eyes open for zombie monster trucks. Whoa, wait a minute, there's one right behind him! It's a super-sized zombie monster truck and Grave Digger Legend is already eliminated! Whoa! And it looked like there was a BKT tire behind that convenience store. Let's check out this instant replay. The super-sized zombie monster truck just got right behind him and come through with a big-time smash! Whoa! Now let's see if the 30th anniversary Grave Digger can find those BKT tires. He's entering Zombie Town. Whoa, to the right there's a zombie fire! And then there's another zombie truck down the road! He's gotta do something quick! It looks like he's gonna hide in front of the convenience store. Whoa, and somehow that zombie monster truck did not see Grave Digger. He's waiting it out. Whoa, that was a close call. Now he's on the move. If he'll search around this convenience store, I think we definitely saw one behind the convenience store when Grave Digger Legend went through. It looks like he's gonna check. Yes, and Grave Digger has found his first BKT tire. He's got to get moving. I can hear the zombie monster truck. Grave Digger's looking for the best way to go. It sounds like the zombie monster trucks are getting closer. He's got to do something quick. It looks like he wants to go down this alley. He's got to be careful though. They can get him blocked in. Grave Digger makes the turn. Everything looks okay. He's checking for a BKT tire. Check it out, he has just found his second BKT tire. Now he's just gotta find two more BKTs and get out of town. You can hear the zombie monster trucks looking for Grave Digger and they are very close. He's being extra careful. Here he goes. Check it out, he has just spotted another BKT tower. Whoa, there's a zombie fire monster truck. He's gonna have to come back. He's backing up. Whoa, here comes the zombie monster truck and he smashes into Grave Digger. Whoa! Grave Digger's battling back! 
Let's see if he can get free! And Grave Digger smashes into the zombie monster truck! The zombie monster truck is turning around. This may be Grave Digger's opportunity to get away. Here he goes! He's got some damage, but I think he's okay. He's gonna take a left. Let's check behind him. It looks like he got away. Now he's gonna head back to the used car lot where he spotted that VKT tire. He's gotta make this quick. There it is. And Grave Digger has collected his third BKT tire. He's got one more to find. He's got to keep his eyes open. The zombie monster trucks know he's in this area and they're looking all over for him. It looks like he's going to cut through the park. Check it out. There's a BKT tire right there by that tree. Whoa, there's zombie fire again. Grave Digger waits it out. He's making his move. He's got to be quick. There goes zombie fire. And Grave Digger has collected all four BKT tires. Now he's just got to get out of town. He's got to watch out right here. There's the bridge out of town. Let's see if he can make it. Oh, and Grave Digger does it. He completes the BKT Zombie Town Challenge. All right, guys, coming up next, we've got our four Monster Truck Battle Challenge. In round number one, we've got Monster Mutt Dalmatian, Hot Wheels Demo Derby, Jurassic Attack, and Gas Monkey Garage. And they're all Monster Mutt Dalmatian smashes into Hot Wheels Demo Derby. Whoa! Demo Derby trying to flip over Monster Mutt Dalmatian. Gas Monkey Garage just rolled over Jurassic Attack! What a battle! Hot Wheels Demo Derby has a lot of damage! Check this out, Monster Mutt Dalmatian is leaving Hot Wheels Demo Derby to head to the other battle! He's gonna go for the double elimination! What a smash! Whoa! Monster Mutt Dalmatian backs up again, here he goes! And another big crush! They're so close to the edge! Here he goes again! Whoa! And Monster Mutt Dalmatian with a double elimination! Now he's got to go battle with Hot Wheels Demo Derby! Whoa! There's no Hot Wheels Demo Derby! What happened? That means Monster Mutt Dalmatian is our round one champion! We're hearing over the team radio that Hot Wheels Demo Derby had a throttle issue. Let's check it out. In round two, we've got Avenger, El Toro Loco, Dirt Crew, and the Retro Grave Digger. And they're off. Avenger's heading for Grave Digger. Whoa! What a battle! Grave Digger rolls over Avenger. Now Grave Digger's on his side. Both monster trucks are trying to power out. Avenger's very close to the edge. Avenger makes it back up. Now he goes backwards, smashing into Grave Digger. Wow! Both El Toro Loco and Dirt Crew are on their route. Avenger's the only monster truck up. Whoa, there goes El Toro Loco rolling off the edge. And a huge crush. Wow! Three trucks remain. Who's going to take the win? Avenger smashes into Grave Digger. Grave Digger is very close to the edge. Avenger with another smash. Oh, and Avenger rolls over. And he's able to power out. Check it out. It looks like he's going for Dirt Crew now. And Dirt Crew is eliminated. Now Avengers heading to Grave Digger. Grave Digger's got some major suspension damage. That's why he hasn't been able to power out. But he's still been able to battle with Avenger from his roof. Here goes Avenger. 
with a big smash! Avenger backs up, this could be it! A huge crush! And Grave Digger goes off the edge! Why, wow, wait a minute! He somehow holds on with one BKT tire and sends Avenger over, and Grave Digger is our winner! Wow! Let's go to the replay and take another look at that amazing move by Grave Digger. What a battle! Coming up next, we've got the Mini Grave Digger Crush Challenge. The monster truck that crushes the most Mini Grave Diggers wins. Alright guys, let's see who's going to be competing in this competition. Up first, we've got... Son of a Digger! And he's going to be going against... Monster Mutt Rottweiler! Monster Mutt Rottweiler is up first. And he's off! The Mini Grave Diggers get a head start. He's going after the one that left the pack. And there's number one! Whoa, he almost rolled over there. That was a very nice save. The other Mini Grave Diggers were staying in a pack, so maybe they'll be easy for him to find. There they are! Monster Mutt Rottweiler is on the move! And a big time crush! Wow, it gets caught in the suspension and Monster Mutt rolls over! He's got some major suspension damage! Wow! He's still going though! Here comes number three! And he gets a very nice crush! He's on his way to number four. Even with that damage suspension, he still has plenty of speed. Here he goes. Whoa, he misses and smashes into the wall. Wow, Monster Mutt Rottweiler is eliminated. He finishes with three crushed mini grave diggers. Here's a replay of that one that got caught in the suspension and caused him to roll over. And here's another look at that huge wall smash. Wow, what a run for Monster Mutt Rottweiler. Now let's see how many Son of a Digger can crush. He's catching up to his first one. And he gets a nice crush. Whoa, it gets caught in his suspension just like Monster Bro Rottweiler. And now Son of a Digger has suspension damage. Wow. He's having some trouble steering. He's going after number two. And a very nice crush! Here comes number three! Wow! Son of a Digger is on a roll! If he catches this next one, he'll tie with Monster Mutt Rottweiler! Yes! And he catches it! Gets a very nice crush! Now Son of a Digger is going for the win! He's just got to find one more Mini Grave Digger! Wow, look at that suspension damage. Whoa, the truck is falling apart. Is he going to be able to make it to that last one? He spotted it. Let's see if he can get to it. He's on the move. This is for the win. Yes, and son of a digger does it. He is today's challenge champion. Wow. Up next, we've got the Escape the Zombies obstacle course. Let's take a quick look at the course with the Monster Jam Stunt Truck. First, the Monster Trucks are going to have to hit the ramp, get big time air, jump the airplane, and crash through the crush campers. From there, they've got to go over the crush cars. They've got to make sure they avoid all the zombie monster trucks also. Here comes the next ramp. They'll get some big time air, and to get the win, they've got to make it past the giant sledgehammer. Let's check out the monster trucks that's going to be competing in this challenge. Up well, first, we've got the 6x6 six six, Max D with the supersized BKTs up front. And he's going to be going against El Toro Loco with the supersized BKT tires all the way around. Here we go. Up well, first, we've got Max D. And he's off. Max D's approaching the ramp. 
He gets a big time air. Here comes the crush camper and a huge crush. Whoa, his suspension gives out and it's a huge crash. Whoa, even the zombies are getting away from him. Wow. And Max D, it looks like he's trying to power out. I don't think he's going to be able to go nowhere. And he's on fire and that is going to end Max D's run. Whoa, check out this replay. Let's see if we can see what happens. All right, now we're going to go in slow motion. You can see right there he has a flat. One of the supersized BKT tires had a blowout. And then on the other side, the other one broke off and went up under the truck. And that set off a chain reaction and Max D just went into pieces from there. Whoa, what a tough break for Team Max D. El Toro Loco is on the starting line and ready to go. And he's off. Whoa, there's a zombie already right beside him, and it's a super-sized zombie monster truck. He hits the ramp, clears the airplane, here comes the crush camper, and a big-time smash, he sends that one camper flying. He's got to go over the crush cart. El Toro Loco over the crush cart. He's got some debris caught in the suspension. He shakes it loose, there's that super-sized zombie monster truck. El Toro Loco's heading for the ramp. Whoa, he gets a little sideways right there. He's still able to land it. The super-sized zombie tries to block the giant sledgehammer, and he breaks it, and it opens the door off for El Toro Loco to get the easy win. Whoa! The super-sized zombie monster truck was going to try to block El Toro Loco, and it didn't work out because he got into the sledgehammer and broke it. There's the huge camper smash in the replay. Here's where Zombie runs into the giant sledgehammer, and El Toro Loco had no trouble at all getting past. Wow! All right, guys, coming up in our next challenge, we've got the Target Jump Obstacle Course. Let's take a look at the trucks that's going to be competing. Up first, we've got the... Lucas Stabilizer. And he's going to be going against... Mohawk Warrior. All right, guys, now we're going to take the Monster Jam Stunt Truck and get a quick look at the course. First, the Monster Trucks are going to have to go over the crush cars. From there, they've got to smash through the campers. Then they've got to make it through the Mega Block Wall. From there, they've got to get lined up for the target jump, get some speed, and get big time air to try to land on the target. And the Monster Jam Stunt Truck did not complete the obstacle course. The Lucas Stabilizer is on the starting line. And he's off. Heading for the crush cars. The Lucas Stabilizer over the crush cars. Now he's heading for the crush camper. And he gets a nice crush, but is having some trouble. Whoa, he has to back up. He's going to go for another crush. And gets a little sideways, but makes it through. Here comes the Mega Block Wall. And he's going to have to back up. Here he goes again. And Lucas Stabilizer makes it through the Mega Block Wall, and now it's time for the target jump. He's getting lined up. It's looking really good. Whoa, he gets a little sideways right there, then it goes off the ramp. Oh, and into the water, the Lucas Stabilizer is eliminated. Whoa, let's take a look at this instant replay and see what happens. It was looking good right there to the end. It got a little sideways. I don't know if that BKT blew out or what happened. Wow! Mohawk Warriors ready to go! And he's off! He's heading for the crush cars. Mohawk Warrior over the crush cars. Now he's approaching the crush campers. Whoa! And he gets a very nice crush on the crush campers. Wow! Here comes the Mega Block Wall! And he smashes right on through it. This has been an excellent run so far for Mohawk Warrior. Now he's getting lined up for the target jump. Here we go. He's got plenty of speed. He's lined up. He gets some nice air. 
Oh, off the mouth! He slides off and it is the water! Whoa! And nobody is going to complete the target jump challenge today. Let's take a look at this instant replay. He just had a very bad bounce and just went sliding off into the water. Whoa! Alright guys, coming up next, we've got the Big Time Air Camper Crush Challenge. The monster trucks have to hit the ramp and crash through the campers. The monster truck that crushes the most campers wins. Our first challenger is going to be Earth Shaker. Let's see who he's going to be going against. And he's going to be going against Dragon. Earth Shaker's on the starting line and ready to go. And he's off. He gets a very nice start. He's building up some speed. Here comes the ramp. He gets a big time air. And crushes through the campers. Wow, what a run for Earthshaker. We're going to go to the replay and then we're going to take a look at the official count. Here's the replay. He got some huge air and a very nice crush. There's nine campers. Let's see how many of them he gets. There's three campers left, so he finishes up with a score of six out of nine. Up next, we've got Dragon. And he's off. Dragon with a very nice start. He's got a very nice approach. He hits the ramp and gets a big time air. And a very nice smash. Are you kidding me? Dragon finishes up with a perfect score and takes the win. Wow. Let's take a look at this instant replay. He gets a nice crush and then a bounce to finish it up. He gets all nine campers. What a big time win for Team Dragon. Coming up next, we've got Escape from Megalodon. Up first, we've got Hot Wheels, Race Ace, and he's off. Whoa, he popped the wheelie. That's probably not a good idea. He must be having some kind of issue. Whoa, he rolls over. Let's see if he can power out. Here comes Megalodon. Oh, and Race Ace is eliminated and cannot escape from Megalodon. We just heard over the team radio that he had an accelerator issue. That's why he could not bring the truck back down. Here's the replay. Wow, and Megalodon with a huge crush right there. Whoa. Coming up next, we've got V8 Bomber. And he's off. V8 Bomber with a very nice start. Let's take a look and see if we can see Megalodon. He's way back there. V8 Bomber's making some moves. To the other side of the track. Megalodon's starting to pick up some speed. V8 Bomber goes off the track. Megalodon's staying back there. V8 Bomber may have a good chance here. He's going back to the track. Wow, Megalodon's getting very close. V8 Bomber goes off to the other side of the track. Here comes Megalodon. Oh, and V8 Bomber gets crushed and cannot escape from Megalodon. I thought he had a good chance at it, but Megalodon was just sitting back and waiting. Check out this replay. All he had to do was make it to the ramp at the end of the track and jump in the water. It was so close. Wow. It's time for our Escape the Super Size Zombie Freestyle Finale. Don't forget, you guys are the judges here, so at the end of the video, be sure to go to the community post and cast your vote. Rolling into the mud freestyle arena first, we've got the 6x6 Max D with those super size BKT tires in the front. Max D gets some big time air. Whoa, he has an awkward landing. He may have damaged something on the suspension. He's heading for the mud pit. Max D through the mud pit. He gets some nice air. 
He's definitely got some damage on that front suspension. He gets a nice guy when he's there. Whoa, he almost rolled over. Let's see what he goes for next. It looks like he's heading for the back flip box. Here we go. He hits the back flip box. Wow, he gets the landing and now he's on fire. Max D's still trying to go. The whole front suspension is broke off and here comes the supersized zombie with a huge crush. Whoa, what a run for Max D. Wow. Coming up next, we've got Dragon. Getting things started with the big time air. Check it out, he's heading straight for the back of the box. Yes, and he gets the landing. He's got to keep an eye out, that supersized zombie monster truck is coming his way. And he gets a nice air. Dragon's put together a very nice run. He gets a wheelie right there. Now he's heading for the mud pit. Whoa, he gets into some deep mud. He is sinking down. He's losing valuable freestyle time here. Is he going to be able to get out? And Dragon makes it out. He's going to have to make some big moves here to score some points. Dragon with a wheelie. He's heading for the back of the box. The freestyle clock is running out. He gets a backflip. Off the bounce. He gets the double backflip. He was going for the triple and he crashes out. What a run for Dragon. Well, that is all for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to crush that like button like a monster truck. It really helps the channel out. All of these amazing monster trucks are available at beammonsters.com. Hey, guys, check this out. We got another awesome video right over there. All you got to do is click on it. Woo!